Hello friends, today we'll be talking about uh, Siltation. Siltation is a topic of uh, the Unit 3 of your textbook from Anas Sethi, uh, the, uh, which is the Environment of Pakistan. Unit 3 is the Development of Water Resources. Now let's look at what is siltation. Okay, siltation is the process by which small particles of sand or clay, and these small particles of sand, and, sand or clay are basically silt. So that's from where you get this word, siltation. So it's silt that is getting deposited at the bottom of the reservoirs. What are these reservoirs? These reservoirs can be lakes, rivers, canals, river channels, dams, barrages, etc. etc. Right? Now this siltation is basically a big problem. And uh, we'll be learning about how we can control it. And we'll also look at why siltation is taking place. So let's look at why siltation is taking place. Now siltation is a problem wherever there are rivers. Okay, in whichever country there are rivers, and you know th that country is uh, dealing with irrigation and all that so siltation is a problem um, uh, you know uh, that they have to face but there are me measures by which you can reduce or control silt silt siltation now why is this happening why is silt getting deposited at the bottom of the reservoirs let's look at that now you you should keep in mind that what is actually silt it's sand or clay you know minute particles of sand or clay now why is siltation Siltation is basically the result of deep erosion, okay? Deep erosion in the mountainous areas by the action of the rivers. Now, who is eroding uh, these uh, areas? It's the river. And when I uh, talked about rivers, you know, in uh, my earlier um, uh, lessons, when we were doing chapter unit 2 and unit 1, so river, you know, the basic activity of the river is erosion and deposition, okay? So erosion takes place in the... Um, start from where the river actually starts and that's the mountainous areas so there uh, erosion is at its peak and as the river moves downwards you know when it has to finally fall into the sea at that time um, the activity of deposition is at its peak okay so the river is eroding uh, and is carrying with it all the silt the silt that is sand or clay as it leaves the foothills of the Himalayas now the river on its course carries this eroded silt and deposits it all along its journey. Now the river will be flowing through the plains of Punjab and Sindh. It will be flowing through canals. It will be flowing through lakes and uh, you know river channels, dams and barrages. So these are all areas that will get, that will be the, you know, there is a recipient of um, this uh, silt which the river was carrying with it. Okay. Now siltation is a menace. It's an evil which destroys the purpose of, you know, the, the construction of the dams and barrages. Why were the dams and barrages constructed for the purpose of irrigation? And dams specifically, you know, they were, um, yeah, they are constructed mainly for the generation of hydroelectricity also. So, um, siltation, this process hampers the purpose of the dams and barrages by reducing their capacity. Now, therefore, a siltation is something which needs to be checked. To understand this process better, let's look at this example. Now you can see two glasses in front of you in the first figure okay now this is the capacity supposing this is the capacity of the glass number one but glass number two is uh, has the same capacity but what has happened is silt has deposited itself in the bottom of the glass right now the capacity of this glass is reduced exactly this happens you know in terms of uh, canals uh, dams and all the other reservoirs that we talked about when silt starts depositing at their at their beds, so the capacity of those reservoirs would automatically get reduced. Another thing that happens is, you know, um, look at this figure number two. If you look at this figure number two, uh, some you know uh, we uh, usually use rivers as means of irrigating our lands. Okay, supposing this is the river and this is the land and this is a canal that is connecting uh, the river to the land. Okay. Now, supposing if uh, this uh, <coughs> river, bed of the river, gets, uh, you know, uh, uh, clogged by um, silt, what will happen is, you know, this canal gets blocked because there's a lot of silt. Now, water, as it was freely flowing towards the land in the first case, will not be able to do so in the second case. So, what will happen is, there will be reduced flow of water to the land. So, this is another problem that occurs because of siltation. I think with the help of these diagrams, you can easily understand uh, the process of siltation and the problems caused by siltation. 
once the problems and you know the process of sortation is clear in your mind you know you'll be able to write the causes and its effects and all the other things on your own you don't have to buy hard things it's pretty understandable another issue that we can understand or relate from the same figure is you know the, supposing if this glass is a um, dam okay and uh, you know there's uh, we need water for uh, hydroelectric generation now if there is silt deposited at the bottom so we'll not have enough water for hydroelectric generation or there will not be free flow of water for the generation of electricity so that again hampers the purpose of the dams here okay now let us jump onto the very important topic of causes of siltation now why is siltation being caused okay it's because of deforestation that is cutting down of trees we all know that trees are cut down because they are used as fuel that is for the needs of you know burning the um, fuel and produ production of power and also for timber uh, meaning it's used for construction purposes wood is used for construction purposes as well now deforestation what it does is it loosens the soil instead of you know um, keeping the soil intact the roots of the trees you know they keep the soil intact and keep it tight even if the river flows through it but uh, and there are a lot of trees on its way you know the uh, the uh, the upper layer of the soil will not, never get washed away as quickly as it does when there are no trees on its way so if there is deforestation then uh, you know the um, uh, the uh, rate of siltation would definitely rise so this leads to excessive erosion you know when there is deforestation that leads to excessive erosion erosion of the land top layer of the soil and that silt uh, you know starts to accumulate in all the reservoirs that we discussed earlier now what happens as a result of uh, siltation what are the effects of siltation it leads to the blockage of canals you don't have to by heart any of this if you have understood siltation you can write all, the, all these points on your own it leads to the blockage of the canals as we looked in the figure right now the, a little while ago it leads to the weakening of the dam foundations okay the entire foundation of the dam also starts to weaken okay and then a uh, choking of the irrigation canals the irrigation canals get choked um, then there is reduction in the capacity of the reservoirs um, okay we discussed this also there's less flow of water for hydroelectric power then there is less water available for irrigation then mounds of silt in the dam will be created meaning uh, you know when there's a lot of uh, hills small small hills will be formed you know in the bottom of the dams now that would affect uh, the flood of the flow of flood water and that would damage the dam the structure of the dam okay so what happens is small small hills or mounds will be formed at the bottom of the dam and that will affect the flow of the flood water because the flood water uh, has to flow you know it flows with a lot of um, you know velocity so that um, uh, you know it uh, it cannot uh, you know freely flow into the dams as a result of these mounds okay so these are the effects of siltation now let us look at what can be done or what are the steps that can be taken for controlling the process of siltation firstly let's start planting trees and planting trees is called as afforestation but this afforestation has to be done on a very large scale especially at the foothills of the himalayas because at the foothills of the himalayas is a place where the river is at its greatest velocity and uh, the intensity of uh, erosion is also highest okay so that is a place where you have to control um, erosion as much as possible by planting as many trees then cementing uh, the embankments of the canals cemented embankments of the canals to make cleaning easier now you know what canals are they take water from the rivers to the or reservoirs uh, to the lands which you need to ir uh, irrigate but uh, if uh, these canals are properly lined with cement what will happen is even if the silt gets deposited at the bottom it will be easier for um, you know later on cleaning then insulation of silt traps is also important and uh, you know where to install the silt traps just before the water actually jumps into the dams so that will uh, if you do that you know that will result in um, uh, you know trapping of or trapping all the silt and only the water will flow into the dams then another thing that can be done is regulating the flow of the water how will you regulate the flow of the water during the flood times okay when the velocity of the water is already uh, uh, very high what can be done is lower the level okay lower the speed of the flow of the water so if you do that uh, you know less amount of silt will get uh, deposit in the reservoirs but in the season where there is you know during the low season you can allow for the free flow of the said uh, water 
So it's for sluicing sediments from the reservoirs, meaning uh, removing the sediments from the reservoir. Okay, now finally, uh, raising of the height of the dam is also an important uh, point. What can be done is, you know, you raise the height of the dam, this will increase the capacity of the reservoir. So these are some of the measures that can be taken in order to control this menace, which is called as siltation. Hope uh, this topic has become clear and uh, you, know, you can get questions like, how can you control uh, this uh, uh, problem of siltation? You can also get questions like, what is siltation? Or, you know, you could get, um, you usually get conceptual questions in uh, geography. So you just have to understand this topic really well. If you understand this topic really well, no matter what question comes, you'll be able to answer it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Till my next video, I'm Nidha Umar signing off. Take care of yourselves and also of your loved ones. Bye-bye.